databases are all around us. From Discord bots to this video itself is inside of a database, inside multiple actually. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can add a database into your bot and add so much more functionality to it. You'll be able to create leveling commands, economy bots, warning, and so much more. So I'm not going to waste your time any further and let's get straight into the video. Many tutorials online, even a bit of my own back in the early days, use JSON as their database and that is terrible. I have a couple right here and what I want you to do if you have them, just delete it. Just delete them all because they are terrible for your Discord bot. But they, they're basically, some people might say that they're good or they're easy to do. Yes, that may be true. but. What they do is they're really bad at handling quick updates to the file and sometimes data gets lost and it's not good. So if you're like having a leveling thing where every message will might update the file, you're going to have a lot of messages coming through and the JSON is not going to be able to handle that, which might even rate limit your bot. But there are alternatives such as MongoDB and MySQL or PostgreSQL. I don't think I said the last one correctly, but I really don't care. All of those are databases, even Firebase. And some of the MongoDB and Firebase are cloud, unless you locally host MongoDB. But today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use SQLite. It's really simple to use, and as it says, it's flight. So you could really easily learn it. Anyways, without further ado, let's install the library. What you want to do firstly is you want to go into your terminal here. You could just click terminal, new terminal, and you want to type in pip install SQL Lite 3. And this will just install the synchronous version of SQL Lite 3. I already have it, so it's not going to exactly do it. But essentially, this is what you're going to need to do a synchronous version. If you're gonna like use a Discord bot like I will in today's video, you're gonna have to install AIO SQL Lite. So you wanna do pip install AIO SQL Lite. Make sure you don't have two L's and it just goes SQL and then it I guess. And you should see here it should say requirement already satisfied. Now this one's completely optional, but if you like, you can also install an extension called SQL Lite. It's gonna be in your extensions bar right here and all it'll let you do is over here it'll let you actually view your tables because you're not going to be able to actually view the file it's going to be really hard to do that so instead you're just going to see a pop-up with all of the tables that are going to be easy for you to view while you're using it so what we're going to actually be doing is really simple it's just going to be a starting of video just so you get familiar with the actual SQL light itself and then after that, I will be making other videos such as how to make a prefix command, how to make warn commands, and all of that using AIO SQLite. So firstly, we want to do what's obvious, just do import AIO SQLite. We're not going to have to import anything from here, just do AIO SQLite. And inside the event, we're actually going to start off by the first coding. Because it's asynchronous, you're going to have to start off with doing an async with AIO SQLite connect and then inside over here you're gonna have a file name I'm just gonna call my main.db and then you're gonna keep this as whatever you want so I'm gonna keep it as connection as db sorry about that so this will just be our main database over here and actually there shouldn't be a connection in the middle sorry about that and then inside of here we're gonna do async with I read. Okay, inside of here, what we're going to do is async with db.cursor as, and this is going to be as cursor, like so. Now, this is where we can actually do all the AIO SQL like coding. So we can create tables through here and all that. But before we do that, we're going to have to actually create a main.db file. So all you want to do is go over here to your new file, if you're in Visual Studio Code, and do main.db. .db is a database file type, so it should look something like this. Do not put anything in it. Uh, AIO HTTP will already handle that. After we have that, then what we can do is we can actually 
create a table that everything will go with. So you can do await cursor dot execute, and inside of that, we're gonna have create table if not exists, and you can call this whatever you want. I'm gonna call this users, so we can add anybody to the user, and then over here, this already fulfilled by me by tab nine. We're gonna have an ID, and then I don't think this is needed, but we can have a guild, and that's gonna also be integer. So when we in the table, it's gonna accept two things. Every time you create a table, or at least like a sub table, you're gonna have an ID and then the guild, so we can exactly find which member it is from the ID and the guild. Now that we have that, we can actually just do back out and you're gonna have to do this every single time that you make a change to the database you're gonna have to do await db.commit and that will actually make all your changes some if you're doing the synchronous version you're also gonna have to close it doing await db.close but because we're using async and this width will automatically close it for us we're just gonna have to do the committing part now that's the event that will automatically start everything up so if I were to just run this, you should see since bots up and ready. And then if I go to main DB, you will see there's actually stuff in here. Surprise, surprise. But now you're like, okay, well, this is some weird font. It says null. And how do I read this? Okay, I can't read in computer. I hear you. So what you want to do is if you're on Visual Studio Code work and if you install the other extension that I told you to earlier, you want to do control shift P. And over here it should open like the visual studio command thing so i don't know exactly what it's called but basically you want to search up sql light and you should see a bunch of these so you're going to do open database and then choose whatever database if you created the file it should automatically be here so mine's main db and you should see in here sql light explorer so you want to click that and you can see my database if we click under here you can see the users which is the table that i created and under that is all of the sub tables that you can add. So ID or what it takes in, which is ID and integer. And it says that right here. If I were to show the table and nothing will actually show right now because there's nothing to show. So I'm just going to drop this down for a bit. And after we commit to it and add more things to it, you'll actually see tables start to fill up over here. Now let's create a command that will actually add some tables. So we can do at client dot commands or command and then do async def and this is just going to be called add underscore user or we can even just get rid of the underscore and then pass in ctx and then member which is going to be the next score dot member like so this is what we have so far and then we're going to do the same exact thing that we did here so I can just really just copy this in here like so because this is going to be default you're going to have to do it every time you're going to make change to the database then I'm just going to so I don't have to next time .commit. and then I can just start coding through here so inside of here we're going to do await cursor dot execute whenever you want to run like something inside of the um, I suppose in SQLite you're gonna have to do cursor dot execute and then whatever you want to run so we're just gonna do select mod or not mod sorry select and in here we can select ID from users and then where and now over here you could put in guild equals and then add question mark and that off and then add a comma in which you add parentheses where it has ctx dot guild dot id add another comma and then end that off so it should look something like this and you might not see it perfectly i guess um there you go that should help um and basically all this is doing is it's going inside of our database and it's selecting id and from our users table and then it will check what the guild is 
so it'll check if the guild matches up with the guild that we run the command in and this is needed so we stay on the same guild and we don't i guess run commands for another a server guilds or servers if you didn't know so that's going to be needed and using that we can use data equals await cursor dot fetch all now you're not going to do fetch all you're going to do fetch one for a one command you might need to do fetch all and you'll get all of the data entries that apply to this but all we're going to need is one of them because we're going to be adding instead of just listing all of them out then you can do if data so if it even exists then it will run this and i'm just going to pass this in for now i'm not going to do much with it or i'm just going to pass and then if i do else pass that too we'll get onto this now just so we don't have errors in here we can do await cursor dot execute and this automatically filled in for me but i'm gonna go this step by step for you guys so we're gonna update it update users set id equals to question mark where guild equals to question mark and then inside of here what we can have is we have two of these so what we're gonna do is each question mark because you can't use f strings in sqlite you're gonna have to just add the question mark and then in the next parenthesis it's gonna go through so the first one will become the id and then the second one will become the guild so we're gonna do ctx or we can actually just do member dot id and then a comma ctx dot guild dot id guild dot name and then instead of name we have id make sure you add another comma here i'm not exactly sure why but for some reason it will result in an error if you don't so what's gonna happen here is i'm just gonna run through the code real quick it'll go inside of our database and it'll see our table users and inside there it'll select this i guess um id script or table it's, i'm not really sure what to call it sub table i guess so it'll select id and it'll grab one of the data pieces from it and if that exists then we can just update it it will just change that out but now let's say it doesn't exist that's all we're going to be working on now and we're just going to create one so we want to do once again cursor.execute and inside here now this is how you update a uh, already a sub table an existing one but if you wanted to create one you'd have to do insert into and whatever it's called so users and then over here you can have id and then guild as you can see automatically fills in for me and then you know, we have that you're gonna have to have values and then two question marks so whatever like if you have three values in here then you're have to, gonna have to add three question marks if you have five then five if you have 30 then you're gonna have to add 30 question marks you get you know how it gets then we're gonna just add fill these values in so member.id is gonna be one and the next one is just gonna be ctx.guild.id .guild.id and then add a comma and that's it that's i guess yeah this was not even 10 lines of code and you just updated your first database if it is your first database i also went ahead and decided member equals ctx.author so it should just be quicker but yeah that's it now i'm going to show you also how to remove but first let's actually just check this out and let's run it and if i by the way if i just check the db right now there's nothing in here that's going to change so here i am in my discord which all of you guys should join by the way link down below in the description i'm trying to hit a thousand members i'm right now at 700 but all i'm gonna do is d add user and i already automatically made it so member will automatically go me so i'm gonna ping me and do that's it nothing will output because we didn't code an output yet but if i switch back to my visual studio code here you can see that the sql thing has already updated this is my id and this is my server if it if you don't see this and you still see like the blank thing then click this button again and it should update for you and if that did work for you congratulations 
you just updated your first SQLite database. You should be proud of yourself because it took me three hours to do that. You probably did it in less than 30 minutes. But enough with that, I'll show you how to delete things now because sometimes you're gonna wanna delete things such as if you have a warn command or if you just wanna clear someone's data. So I went ahead and really quickly just created another command called remove user with the same attributes besides this. And all this is gonna do is very simple. A lot of the code will just be taken from here. We're gonna wanna check everything just like we did here. And we're gonna, have this, if, and we're gonna wanna have the same if statement. So like so, let me just fix my indenting real quick. I'm gonna just tab this all in. And this should do it. Now that we have that, what we can do is if we have the data, then uh, we can actually delete it because if you have data, then you can delete the data. If you don't have data, then you can't really delete any data because you don't have any. Hope that made sense. But we're gonna do await cursor dot execute. And inside here, we're gonna start off with delete from, and then this is gonna have users, so whichever our table name is, and then where, and then we're gonna specify the guild name and the user. So we can have ID equals question mark and guild equals question mark because we wanna delete both. Then we can come out of here and then pass in our term. So member dot ID comma ctx dot guild dot ID and then comma and that's about it. Yep, all that does is delete it. It's really simple and the AIO SQLite is really easy to get a hold of. That's why I decided to do SQLite because other databases require you to buy things, get hosts, and all of that. And I know none of you guys want to go through that hassle. This can be self-hosted, it's quick, and it's easy to learn. But my bot's up here, and as you can see, right here, I have these two IDs slash guilds, I guess. Now, if I go into my server here, and my admin's talking, and if I just run d remove user and then add glow, nothing's going to really happen, because I guess we didn't once again, we did not program something to send, but, and we see no error. If I click this again, everything's gone. Why you may ask? Well, because we just deleted it. We ran the remove user command. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. It's been a real blast to make, and I really wanted to make this for a while now because I want to make a lot more database commands. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit subscribe. I'm trying to get to 2,000 subscribers so I could be cool and hang out with the cool kids. Thanks, I guess. But yeah, that's it for today. Till next time, glows to kill. See ya. Why are you still here? Leave.